Shalom, do I have a delicious recipe for you. You're going to start out with two sticks of cold butter. And on top of that, this is the opportunity to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I'll explain a little later. Next, you're going to go in with a half a cup of brown sugar. And if you guys haven't already liked, shared, and also subscribed to this channel, I strongly advise it. And then you're going to go in with one cup of regular cane sugar. I make a ton of lawful recipes on this channel, so you are going to enjoy this channel. So with that, let's get back into the video. Now you're going to give this a quick blend. And while you're mixing this, make sure all of those sugars and butter are completely combined. If you need to scrape down the edges, go ahead and do so. Once that is all combined, what you're going to do is just scrape down those edges. Make sure everything is completely combined, you guys, because this is the base of your unleavened bread and for any unleavened bread that you make. And plus, you don't want little chunks of sugar in your cake. Trust me when I say that. So once all of your edges are scraped down, you're just going to give this a quick blend. And once you've done so, we're going to go ahead and go in with one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now, Vanilla abstract, you can never go wrong with this. So it's okay if you get a little heavy handed. It's just going to bring a little extra flavor to this delicious kingdom bread. And trust me, when you try this, it is delicious. We're going to go also in with two tablespoons of cinnamon. And what we're doing right now is we're building the flavors. Go ahead and scrape down those edges too. We're also going to toss in one tablespoon of pumpkin spice. And that's pumpkin pie spice, of course. And then we're going to throw in one tablespoon of nutmeg. And once that's done, you're going to also go ahead and crack one egg. In total, we're going to be using three eggs, but you are only going to use one egg, mix it, and then repeat. So once the batter is combined with the egg, we're now going to go in with the second egg. You don't want to over mix this as far as adding all your eggs all at once. This is what's going to give it the rise and then also the fluffy texture and the moisture. And it's okay if it starts looking runny, that's exactly what you want. Now I'm going to crack my last egg. Let that mix. And once everything has been mixed, you are going to throw in two cups of sifted flour. Now I've had a lot of videos with unleavened bread and I've shown you how to sift your flour. And what you're going to do is not pour in the sifted flour all at once. But as you guys can see, when you see me start off, I only poured in a little bit. And that's what you want to do. Just like the egg, you gradually add the flour. This allows the mixtures to combine. And then after some time, you're going to start getting a very smooth consistency. 
somewhat representing like a cake batter. And that's exactly what we're going for. Make sure you also scrape your edges as well too because we don't want any flour left over. We don't, we want it completely combined. This recipe is very simple and very quick. And just like I say in all my Unleavened Bread Kingdom breads, <laughs> this definitely is the base of any Unleavened Bread. So at this point, you should have been thinking of what kind of flavor you would like to use. But for this video, we're doing pumpkin. So once all of that is combined, you should see this smooth like consistency and when i tell you smelling this cake batter right now oh my goodness it completely smells like cinnamon sugar it's just it just smells so good now what you're going to also add is an easy pumpkin pie mix now this is already pre-made and pre-mixed you can also make your own if you like to but i'm just going to throw a least a half of this cup in for right now. And then what you want to do is you want to gauge how much pumpkin taste that you do want within your pumpkin cake. I'm going to give it a quick mix. As you can see, I'm scraping down those edges, making sure everything is combined. And I did add just a little bit, which was the remaining cup of that pumpkin pie mix to this. Now you just wanna taste it to gradually see how much pumpkin you actually want. But once you found your happy medium, you're just going to go ahead and get an aluminum pan. I find that aluminum pans really work well with unleavened bread recipes. So my strong suggestion is if you haven't tried it, try it. And you're just basically going to pour that lovely cake batter unleavened bread mixture right into that pan. Give it a quick pat. Even if you have to spread it around, do so. And then once you've done so, we're gonna put it in that preheated oven at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. And for quick and easy things, I have this cheesecake pre-ready, already made up whipped cream. I'm actually just gonna grab half of this and we're going to level this up because we are going for something quick and easy. I could have definitely made my own cheesecake, but I decided to go the easy route. So you're just going to grab half of the cheesecake mixture. And then to that, we're going to add a little bit of pumpkin mix. That pumpkin pie mix that we've already used earlier. Yes, because I want pumpkin all through this unleavened bread. So that was about a good cup of pumpkin mix and then you can go ahead and mix that and it's a little difficult because I am working with just one hand at this moment and then I wanted a little bit more pumpkin mix to this so I just added just a tablespoon and then I'm giving this a quick mix you can also taste this as well too, to gauge the level of pumpkin that you would like in your cheesecake mix. And then once you have that, you're just going to add just a sprinkle of ground cinnamon to this. That would be about a half a tablespoon right there. And then we're gonna use a half a tablespoon with the nutmeg as well. And then we're gonna go in with a half a tablespoon 
for the pumpkin pie spice as well too. And after you have added all of these ingredients together, go ahead, give this a quick mix, and you're going to store it in your fridge until the unleavened bread is finished and it has cooled down. Now, of course, like I said, I only am working with one hand, so I apologize for the bowl moving. But once your unleavened bread has cooled down, what you're going to do is now place that cheesecake pumpkin mix right on top. Smooth it out. I guarantee you that if somebody tries this after you've made it, they're going to be coming back for more, including yourself as well. And once you have all of that smooth cheesecake on top, what you're going to do is go ahead and place this in the fridge so it can cool down a little bit more because this definitely is cheesecake, you know, and I'm trying to tell you the smell in my kitchen right now is out of this world. But to give it a little crunch and to give it that cheesecake like filling, I also found these sugar cones that have no yeast or leavening agents. So I'm just grabbing three of these. And then what you're going to do is you're going to give this a quick smash and all i'm going to do is take a little kitchen hammer and give it a quick smash i just want those little crunchy bits and bites and my camera did cut off a little bit but i am going to tell you what i'm going to do with this i'm just going to combine a little bit of cinnamon and also a little bit of regular sugar and as you can see right here I'm adding the cinnamon and this is where my camera turned off so I do apologize but just add a sprinkle of sugar just like you're making cinnamon and sugar crunch and that's it that's all to it once you have those two go ahead and top it off with that crunchy delicious snow cone goodness and then top it off with a little bit of caramel drizzle and you'll have people coming running back for this recipe time and time again. Hope you enjoy. Stay strong, stay healthy, stay in the spirit. Like, share, and also subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Shalom.